Hi everyone, this is more of a Q&A video and the question came from Aisha Monilola and her question is this and I'm sorry by the way for being absent it has been a roller coaster behind the scene I've been busy, I just concluded my classes for this, for last month of September yeah, October-ish like slash okay, the classes started in August running through september to october is about three months so i just concluded so it has been hectic when you know what is happening behind the scene <laughs> it ain't funny guys okay so this is the question she said so she said um thank you so much for this wonderful video in the video you said that the cream can be applied directly on the skin but when i went through the comment section you said it needs to undergo other processes for it to be suitable for use my question is can the base cream be used alone or not thank you aisha <laughs> when you said undergo other processes it sounded a little bit too big <laughs> you understand like instead of sounded a little bit too stretchy but then yes it's going to go certain purple under on the go separate that is a base cream and in that base cream there are emollients and then there are humectants i antioxidants which is awesome but if you notice it is thick like i have this sample here right it is very very thick see i'm shaking this container and it in point it's not coming out it's not falling off so it's very very thick which is a good thing. The reason why it's a good thing is that it gives you room to add other liquids if you choose to. And to give you the required consistency you want. So basically from this cream base, you can actually create a lotion. You can also create a body scrub, like a physical or even chemical body scrub. You understand? I didn't come with mine here. Like, but you could create a whole lot. And I am this formulator. You know, everybody has their way of formulating. Some formulate from the scratch, everything in their re recipe and all that. But me now, I have my base cream. And from my base cream, I create other recipes. It's sort of easy. And coupled with the fact that I am in Nigeria. And there is light problem. So I want to formulate and there is no light. What will I do? And it's not every day you want to burn. I want to burn fuel. That kind of thing. Yeah. So now, this consistency is really, really thick. Right? Is really really thick and is not it's thick and it's not super moisturizing like that like that you get i'm trying to say to you it is moisturizing but not with so much oil which can be a good thing for some skin type and not so good for some skin types do you understand so when you're formulating for someone with an oily skin this is beautiful this is awesome yeah you might not necessarily need to add any extra oil because there's coconut oil in the midst of that formula as you saw it properly and so you could maybe indulge more in hydrosol now hydrosol is required here the reason why hydrosol is required here is because this cream is super thick like i said to you so to make it a little bit mm, lighter you get what i'm trying to say to you if it's necessary i don't know if i'm confusing you Aisha. i hope i'm answering your question correctly i use the rose water because it is not advisable to add ordinary water inside that stuff do you understand now like i said earlier as thick as this base cream it might not be suitable for all skin types some people it might be too heavy on their skin so that is the reason why you need an hydrosol now the hydrosol we go in there to give you the consistency you desire in between you can add other things now this cream can you use it like that in your that's the last part of your question yes and no yes in the sense that this is just going to give you just hydrating and moisturizing but for a cream and a stay on product especially for a melanated skin like you and i if you're a melanated skin you would want it to have some other benefits like i told you out of this you can actually make a scrub you can actually make an exfoliating cream adding either your lactic acid or your salicylic acid in it to give an exfoliating feel are we communicating here you would understand it better if you can register for classes that is if you really need it but if you don't it's fine um now you could also add some lightening agents with the exception of hydroquinone obviously you know if you have watched other videos of mine you realize that i am not a toxic beauty person i am actually a clean beauty 
person. So adding a, a, a good hydrosol like your rose water is not only going to give antioxidant benefits, but it's also going to loosen it and make it a lot more flexible. In between, you can add other things. You can add serums and this. You can add concentrates and this. You can add botanical powders and these. You can add actives. But you have to be very careful when you're using all those things. You have to use them at the right usage percentage rate example you want to add brightening effect to the your cream you need to do it proportionally let's say you're using something like kojic acid you know one people people tend to complain about kojic acid that it gives white dots yes it's going to give white dots when you use it above the usage percentage rate because kojic acid is a tyrosinase inhibitor it works full time to um reduce the production of melanin from the protein tyrosine do you understand like from the tyrosine that gland that produces tyrosine what am i saying okay <laughs> we have uh, a structure on our skin which is the tyrosine the tyrosine <laughs> right so um tyrosine is responsible for producing the melanin and the melanin is that pigment that darkens out that gives the dark skin that we have our eyes our hair even our nails sort of so um the tyrosine the tyrosine is something that you can use tyrosinate inhibitors to reduce it just like they said inhibiting to reduce how it's going to produce so much melanin so that your skin will not darken like that and you don't forget when you go under the sun the melanin even gets darker <laughs> so there's that issue of always trying to even out the skin tone and trying to give an even skin and most likely you want to add extra benefit to your cream aside from it being a good hydrating and moisturizing cream with good amount of ceramides yes and even peptides in it in order to keep the skin glowing and reducing the signs of aging or reducing aging fast because when you moisturize your skin obviously you are working again i don't want to use the word against but you are more like making it moisturize so therefore wrinkles will not and fine lines will not just pop up easily like that so meaning we want to age gracefully and slowly or more everybody wants to retain his youth forever but it's not possible right okay so um as it is you still need rose water you still need a good hydrosol which of course i choose rose water already mm -hmm. to activate it if you want to give it brightening ability you can add safe good tyrosinase inhibitors you can add brightening serums you can add concentrates as well and um avoid hydroquinone i've said that already so basically that's just the aisha and sorry for delaying answering your question but i finally did i've just so thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my videos if you can and hopefully we see in another video bye